Wow, I heard about this thing. You guys really do surgery in a truck? Well, this truck is a half million dollar OR on wheels, so I have a little respect. But uh, if you ever want to take a shift, let me know. Sweet. Dr. Avery? Cool suit. Thanks. So, uh, how's his arm? What's that? Our patient. I, I, I need to put something in the records. Ah, uh, yes. Uh... Your mom made these for you every day. Why did you move out? She also folded my underwear, threw away articles of clothing that didn't flatter my nice butt, and every time I tried to talk about a problem, she just shoved a plate of food at me. Like I said, I don't get it. Well, I can't go back. You replaced me with Schmidt, didn't you? He's gonna be your new best friend, and I'm gonna be with my kid all the time, covered in bodily fluids. We've got a 65-year-old male suffering from memory lapses, tremors, depression and mood swings, and erratic behavior. Yes, I am talking about Richard Weber, but today he is not the Richard Weber you know and love. He is our number one patient. Two days ago, he suffered a public episode at a medical conference. Patient's history includes an appendectomy, a hip replacement, surgery for a brain tumor pressing on his optic nerve. He was also electrocuted several years ago, which led to surgery for a pancreatic pseudocyst. Joe did that surgery for the pseudocyst. Oh, sorry. Uh, Let's review doctor. what we have so You're crashing far. with an attending. We get it. This is a list of possible diagnoses. Some we have already ruled out. This we still need to. Meredith. Uh, we'll run all the labs, we'll do the blood cultures, the vitamin levels, check the thyroid function, and we'll check the urine for heavy metals. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourselves. He's not himself. We saw the video. Unless you get called in for something emergent, this is your job today. Yes. Uh, hi, Dr. Bailey. Hi, Tom Karasik, Neuro. I know you don't want to think it, but have we ruled out uh, dementia? No, we have not. Get a PET scan, throw in a beta amyloid tracer, and look for Alzheimer's. It's not Alzheimer's. Everything is on the table. Nothing is out of the question. Now right, let's get to work. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, Chris Swans, I need you to jump in. I need you to evaluate beds two through seven for smoke inhalation and clear them. But I've been helping with Dr. Weber. Hey, Schmidt, no offense, but whatever's wrong with Weber will be solved by a resident. Oh, okay. Why are you still standing here? All right, I'm going. I'm going. Sorry. Take him over to bed 10. Nico just posted again on Instagram. He's having the time of his life. His smile doesn't even look fake. It's like I never existed. Are you really talking to me about this while we're in gridlock? Well, I just assessed beds three and four. Congratulations, we're still gridlocked. Is that my fault? It's not not your fault. Schmidt, half of the attendings are in a room right now working on Weber. This is your moment to step up, to rise, to shine, to take care of incoming before you get run over by a gurney. And if you look at your phone one more time, I'll give you so much scut you will wish you were never born. 